Hello everyone, this is ICO Talk. My name is Yelena and my guest today is Vincent Jack, a CEO of Chain Trade, which is a blockchain platform to trade food and raw materials. Good afternoon, Vincent. Thank you very much for joining us today. Hi, Yelena. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, Vincent, please tell us a few words about Chain Trade. Uh, what is it all about? Whom is it made for? And what problems does it solve? Yeah, sure. So Chain Trade is the first uh, blockchain-based trading platform for food and raw materials. So today, this trade is uh, centralized on a few exchanges in the world, Chicago, Eurex, Hong Kong. They charge high fees. Um, it's reserved to a few institutional investors. And these exchanges, they make a huge profit because it's almost a monopoly. We want to move uh, the trade of food and raw materials to the blockchain, decentralize it, cut intermediaries, lower the fees dramatically, more than uh, cut them by more than half, um, and make it accessible to anyone, small players, big players, without any uh, barriers of, uh, of countries or of uh, wealth. Okay, and uh, for how long does the project exist already? So we started the uh, end of last year. We uh, built a prototype uh, beginning of 2017. Um, so now that we have a working prototype, the next step is to uh, raise money to make it a scalable product and um, then uh, get regulatory approval from uh, Singapore, where we're based, um, and start uh, sales and marketing to attract uh, players, buyers, sellers uh, on the platform. Uh -huh. And what is the particular sum that you want to raise? We want to raise uh, between 10 and 50 million dollars. Uh, 10 and 15 million during the, the ICO itself. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so, um, will you please tell us in more details about uh, uh, the role of blockchain in your project? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the blockchain is really uh, key. Uh, it's the, the core of the project. And that's what will allow us to disrupt this uh, market that has been uh, uh, not moving uh, for decades. It's been very similar. Uh, and with the blockchain, we can really disrupt it by uh, moving these centralized uh, marketplaces to a decentralized uh, marketplace where intermediaries will not be necessary anymore. Uh, I'm talking about the, the brokers and others. Um, so we will replace the futures and options, uh, which are the, the commodity derivatives. So we will replace these by uh, smart contracts uh, stored on uh, on a blockchain. Uh, the orders, uh, buy and sell orders, will also be stored on the blockchain. Um, so the full order book and then the matching of the orders uh, will be made. Uh, and, and, and then sent to the smart contract uh, in order to, uh, to realize the, uh, the, the transfers of, um, uh, of those contracts. Um, so the, the blockchain is really what will allow these, uh, this marketplace to compete with the existing one and uh, build a brand new ecosystem uh, as opposed to what exists today. Okay, and what is the role of your tokens? What are the key advantages of your tokens? So the CTC token uh, will be used to access and use the platform. And that's a payment uh, means to uh, pay the fees. And there will be a small fee for each transaction uh, to pay uh, margin calls uh, when the, the price of the uh, futures and the options uh, evolves over time. Um, traders need to pay what we call a margin call and that will be paid with the CTC token. So basically, the more users uh, there will be the more volumes of transactions there will be on the platform and the more the tokens will be uh, needed and valuable knowing that the supply of token uh, is limited. Okay, and still imagine the negative scenario. If you don't mm -hmm. get enough money, uh, what will happen with the project and uh, uh, how are the rights of investors protected in this case? Yeah, so um, we have several options. And, uh, the first option is to raise money with the uh, ICO. However, uh, I already got uh, interest from a regular uh, venture capital uh, funds. So that would be the, the second option to, to raise money. Um, the, the company also belongs to a group called uh, Blue Tiger uh, that uh, has uh, more than 90 employees today and that has some cash. So that's what we've been using uh, since the beginning of the year to, to run the project, to pay the, the, the developers so far. Uh, so we can still run on our cash even if we would be much slower if we don't uh, raise the expected amount in the ICO. But we can still pursue the project um, even if the ICO is not a full success. 
Oh, okay, that's that's what I wanted to ask next about your mm-hmm. uh, your company and your team. Will you please tell us a few words about about your team? Yeah, sure. So first, uh, myself, um, I um, I'm a serial uh, tech entrepreneur. Uh, so that's not my uh, first company. I started my career as an investment banker, uh, then did a few years as a consultant at BCG. Uh, and eight years ago, started uh, in, in tech entrepreneurship, started uh, Planorama, that is now a company uh, worth uh, 25 million euros. Um, that's uh, more in uh, artificial intelligence and in retail. Um, the rest of the team is uh, mostly uh, blockchain developers. Uh, so um, spread out, some in France, some in Eastern Europe. Uh, in Singapore, we're uh, starting to, to have a team um, because we, uh, we decided to, uh, to move the company to, to Singapore. Um, we have uh, strong advisors. Uh, one of our advisors is uh, uh, one of the founders of the uh, Ethereum network. Uh, so that's for the technical side. And on the business side, one of our advisors is a former uh, director of strategy at the, at the New York Stock Exchange and at uh, Euronext. So we, uh, we have a, a strong support uh, to, to, uh, to build our project um, and to make it something uh, solid. That's great. And what do you personally think about the perspectives of the ICO market in general? So what we see today, uh, of course, is that there are uh, more and more uh, startups uh, doing an ICO. Uh, so that dilutes uh, the investments. Uh, I think there are uh, a few more, a bit more investments uh, on the market uh, um, uh, months over months, but there are uh, much more new ICOs launching. Um, so I think it's a very vivid market, very lively. Um, it's uh, becoming harder to, to raise money with the ICO because of the number of projects. And uh, I expect that the the, the better the best projects will benefit uh, from it and what I would like to see is more uh, blockchain uh, projects because I see a lot of ICOs um, on projects that have little to do with the blockchain or where blockchain is not really uh, needed um, I think that the true blockchain projects like ours should uh, be at the core uh, of the, the ICO market mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. Uh, and uh, will you tell me in just uh, in a few sentences, mm-hmm. why should I invest in chain trade? So for two reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, it's a project, a very ambitious project that uh, wants to revolutionize uh, training of food, uh, metals, energy to make it more equal. Uh, we speak about oil, we speak about gold, copper, but also wheat, corn. We want to make access to these fundamental goods uh, equal to anyone in the world, rich and poor countries. And the second reason is uh, for more short-term and materialistic reasons. Um, I think our um, token will rapidly appreciate because of the limited supply and uh, we will um, uh, rapidly get results. We plan to have the platform deployed in production uh, in January 2018. Um, to uh, get a, a trading license and already in 2018 to have a significant business. Uh, so I think that the token holders will, uh, will gain uh, quite a, a bit of value by holding them. Okay, so I guess uh, we've discussed everything. Uh, thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you, Elena. Have a good day. Thank you, and I remind you that my guest today was uh, Vincent Jacques, CEO of Chain Trade. Uh, this was ICO Talk TV. Uh, subscribe to our channel and watch more interesting videos. Bye bye.